So if it peaks in just a random spot and it's only harsh in that one spot, do you cut that frequency the whole time or do you automate it? Or? It's like a random frequency. That means like there's nothing else that's gonna hit in that frequency throughout the rest of the mix. So I would just cut it out during the whole time or if there's something that's blocking it, then I would automate it. People think about side chaining in a certain way, but there's, you know what I mean? Like, like some of the isotope stuff, you can side chain things into things that will move and dump that frequency just when that thing hit. Right. Like, so like one of the biggest things that's hard for like all of us, like what Ali was saying too about like kicks nowadays, right? And 808s. So it's just like a lot of times I'm side chaining my kick into my 808 or to my bass so that whenever the kick itself hit, it's ducking that specific frequency inside of the bass or inside of 808 so that it fits better.